My name is Ray, and I can't sleep. Listeners, this is Ian, the editor in chief, synth player for Ray Can't Sleep. In case you don't know who I am by now, as you all heard from the last episode, it looks like someone actually took Ray and he didn't get away this time. Uh, reptilian or not, this is a kidnapping we're talking about here, and I feel responsible. Um, I'm the one who gave Ray the idea for the podcast, and worse than that, I'm one of the many people who dismissed him when he said he was in trouble. I asked you, the listener, after the last episode, if anyone knew where Ray was, and the response was a big, fat nothing. I, I, I can't go to the police because it hasn't been 48 hours yet, so I can't make a missing persons report, which means I had to take matters into my own hands. Luckily, Ray synced his phone to my computer and cloud service back when we started this thing. So, everything he does with his phone ends up on my computer. And I mean everything. So I'm going through all the contacts, photos, and video that may have relevance to his disappearance. Hey, Darren, it's Ian. Ian? You mean like Ian the keyboardist from the old cover band, Ian? I prefer to be called a synth player. <laughs> Same old Ian. How you been? Weren't you still in middle school when we played together? I was finishing up high school, thank you very much, but... Look, Darren, as much as I'd like to, I didn't call so we could reminisce. Okay. It's Ray. He's missing. <laughs> missing what? His brain? Common sense? Or a purpose in life? Well, you're not wrong, but he's missing, as in probably kidnapped. You mean he got you into this shit too? Well, it's complicated, but I was wondering if you could tell me a little about the last time you saw Ray at the Rusty Trombone. You know about that? Uh, well, yeah, he was recording the whole time he was there. What? Why would he do that? Again, it's complicated. Just tell me what happened. Uh, okay, well, Ray showed up. Started asking to stay with me for the night, and like an idiot, I said yes. I, I left him alone and went to play the last set, and then there was some kind of commotion, and for some reason, I can't really remember what happened. Try. I, I am trying. It's, it's just not there. It's, it's like I got blackout drunk, but I don't even drink anymore. What's the last thing you can remember about that night? <sighs> okay, uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. Packing up, looking for Ray, but he was nowhere to be found. That's it? Yeah, that's it. No tables turned over, no smashed guitars. Okay, well now that you mention it, the bass amp was blown. You think he did that? I'd say yes. But how could he? I, I would have seen him doing it. Oh man, my, my head's killing me. All right, Darren, sounds like it's time for you to lie down. Thanks for your time. Yeah, man, N no problem. Uh, I'll call you if I can remember anything else. And tell Ray if you find him. I got him on audition. Well, that was... something. It's like the fact that there was no evidence was evidence itself. Evidence of reptilians? Maybe. Evidence that pointed me to Ray? None. I tried calling Lynn. I admit I don't know her, but it seemed that being an actor and all, she'd be the type to stay on top of these things. Did the kidnappers take her too? And if they did, why? I leave your apartment. This is Vlad. Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but I'm a friend of Ray's. We 
going to cover the money he owes? No, but he is missing, and I was wondering if you know where he might be, since you know so much about maps. You have a map I give to Ray? No, he took it with him. That's where he is. That's all I can say. No, wait. Well, another dead end. This is turning out to be harder than programming chiptune music for the Sega Genesis. My options are drying up. I'm gonna go check through some of the other media in the phone. Ugh, disgusting. Why would anyone take a picture of that area of the body? Hold on. Is this what I think it is? You can call me Dora because I just found the map. Ian, what's going on? Who are you talking to? No one, Mom. You're not up there masturbating to pictures of cartoon girls, are you? No, Mom. And it's Japanese anime, and that was one time. Well, why not? It's perfectly natural. My parents came home, as you might have guessed, so please just ignore them. Or even better, I'll edit that part out. No real reason to keep it in. Other than to document the moment when I found the map. Uh, I was going through Ray's camera roll. The last pic he took was of a woman who I assume is Lynn, holding what at first glance looked like a large piece of blank parchment paper. She really is an attractive woman. Who's an attractive woman? Do you finally have a real flesh and blood girlfriend? And not one of those cartoon superhero girls with the huge boobs? Mom, please, I'm in the middle of recording something. Is it a sexy message for your new girlfriend? No, Mom! Well, why not? Mom, I've gotta go out. Where do you need to go at this hour? Is it a date? No, it's actually, yeah. Wait, I mean, yes, it's a date, and I need to borrow the car. Finally, my son is becoming a man. Of course you can borrow the car. Thanks. Are you really going to wear those shoes? Well, yeah, why not? Those shoes are so old. You need to wear the new shoes I bought you. I found them at the outlet mall. Great price. Okay, fine. But don't get them dirty. If you get them dirty, you are grounded. But mom, how is it possible for anyone to wear a pair of shoes and not get them dirty? Look at my shoes. Ten years old and still brand new. Wow, those are clean. Okay, Mom, fine, whatever. And make sure you wear protection. Double bag it. Goodbye, Mom. I said double bag it. I've got to remember to go back and edit that out. But anyway, where was I? Ah, yeah, the picture of Lynn with her flawless skin on Ray's phone. Now, she was holding a large piece of paper, and on that paper, the flash had illuminated this ink that must have reflective properties. Once I zoomed in, I could see what looks like a map of the Hollywood Hills. The map is still pretty vague, so I need help figuring out exactly where I need to go. This is Rex Remington, Ace Reporter. Oh, wow. Do you actually answer the phone like that all the time? Yeah, I do. I also hang up like this. Oh, wait, the... wait, wait. I'm... Uh, don't hang up. This is important. Some people consider fidget spinners important, too, but... To me, they're as useless as a glory hole and a steam engine. So cut to the chase, Charlie. It's about Ray. I miss editor Ian. I was the one that set up your first meeting. So this is about Ray, eh? Yeah, he's missing. Jesus, kid. You barely sound old enough to attend a rated R picture show. Are you sure you're old enough to drive? I'll have you know I'm old enough and man enough to drink and drive at the same time. Great. Then shut your manhole and... Meet me downtown. But it's scary down there. Uh, hello? I'm having a weird, weird day. The name's Adam. Where I'm from, I'm known as the Zero Thief. And depending on who you ask, some might say I'm the best thief. But believe it or not, even the best screws up every once in a while. And that's what I did, and I had to make a fast getaway. I ended up crash landing on this bizarre planet. Turns out, I didn't get away fast enough. These winged freaks followed me here. But it's just us here, Zero Thief, on this empty backwards planet. So start talking, either to me or my way. Okay, okay, I do have something to tell you. It's about the planet. It's not that empty. <laughs> Come on, man, I thought you were gonna die. Cut me loose, cut me loose, behind you. Whoa! Ah! Thought I was done for. It was gonna be a light snack for a snarling creature. But then, she showed up. 
riding on the back of one of those monsters like it was nothing. And with a wave of her hand, the other razor-toothed beast just stomped away. I'd never seen anyone like her before in my life. I thought I'd say something clever. Thanks, uh, have you seen my ship? She gave me a look that said more than words ever could, because I think she was trying to read my mind or something. And from there, things just got even weirder. Escape to Earth. 36 pages of insane dinosaur action. Issue 1, available now at reptilianmedia.bigcartel.com. the rendezvous point. Some bar that's been here since the 50s. Hey, Junior, I'm afraid you've got the wrong place. This ain't the local five and dime, and I'm not a soda jerk. Speaking of jerks, you hardly look old enough to even be- Not that I'm planning to drink, but I'm 21. The answer's still get the hell out. We only serve fast-talking, hard-drinking newsmen here. Not prepubescent punks whose idea of a good time is a darkened closet, a can of Dapper Dan, and the latest copy of National Geographic. Now leave! Kids with me. I see. I'm sorry, Mr. Remington. You're Rex Remington? Yeah. What of it? You seem so... drunk. When I heard you on the podcast, you seem so, I don't know, up and at him. Yeah, well, that was before. It's funny how the world changes. I used to come here with my buddies. Other guys who used to work the beat after a hard day of chasing leads. Is this going to take long? I really need to find Ray. I, I, I found this man. That was an interesting time. The news mattered. We mattered, at least. We were led to believe that. Everyone blames the internet for the death of print media. The truth is that every goddamn newspaper, the evening news, and even the radio stations are all bought and paid for. And they all just kowtow to whatever corporate agenda is on the table that week. Even my beat, I recently discovered, being run by them. The reptilians? I did some digging. This time I dug too deep. To think that all this time in my city, this has been kept from me, dangled in front of me like a cigarette in front of Joe Camel. But I was too blind to see it. What kind of reporter am I? The kind that's gonna help me blow this story wide open. You're crazy, kid. No one will listen. They'll look at us the same way we looked at your friend Ray. Oh, uh, yeah. Funny you should mention him. They got him. Who got him? The reptilians. And I need your help to get him back. What can I do? I'm a fraud, a charlatan, a flim-flam man with no plan, man. You can help me read this map. What the hell is this? It's where Ray is, I think. It, but it's really all I have to go on right now. I'm from the suburbs. I, I don't know my way around town like someone like you would. Fine. What the hell? This kinda looks like the Hollywood Hills, but it's got all this gibberish written here. Doesn't even look human. Let alone American. The only language that counts. Maybe we should go down to the Walk of Fame and see if we can find the guy who made this. My guess is the map maker didn't actually make this map. Looks like it was stolen from the lizards and reprinted over and over. That's why we can't read or understand it. Damn it! Well, I'm out of ideas, unless we track down a reptilian and force him to translate this for us. Any of you drunks in here, a reptilian? Come on, speak up. We're gonna find out eventually. Don't make us beat it out of you. You're only making things harder for yourself. Hey, Rex, you're making my other patrons as nervous as the Lindbergh baby. Can you keep it down? We're sorry. We'll keep it down. Rex, I think we need to try something else. You're right. These lizards are too cowardly to face us mano a mano. So who do we know that can speak reptilian, or at least read it? What happened to Pete? Pete disappeared. If I couldn't find him, what luck do we have? You're right. As Charlton Heston once said, damn them all to hell. But this is your chance to show the world real reporters matter. 
Don't you want to be known as the guy who blew the lid off mankind's greatest conspiracy? You, Rex Remington ace reporter, and not some smelly wannabe blogger living in his parents' basement. Yeah, you're right. Don't you want to be the guy being interviewed on the nightly news talking about how he risked life and limb to become the greatest reporter since some other great reporter? Yes, I do. And then, of course, there's the fact that a man's life is at stake. So what do you say, Rex? I say pay my tab and let's hit the road. Rex Remington is back like a screaming case of the clap. Skid Row. I think we played a gig at some shithole near here. Hey, look, there it is. Looks like tonight is New Wave Night. We're not here for the music, kid. We're here for that. Whoa. It's like Street Fighter, except everyone's toothless and drugged out. Haven't you ever heard of bum fights, kid? Of course. I just didn't know they were making new episodes. Episodes? You see a camera down there? No. But what are they fighting for? Whatever they can find. And you really think Pete's down there? I checked my sources. They said any bum who's any bum will be here tonight. Besides, if he's not, there's got to be someone here who knows where to find him. And if there isn't, at least we can enjoy the show. Enjoy the show? This isn't entertainment. It's sad. Hey, no one put a gun to their head. Except that guy over there who has a gun pointed at his own head. I know that voice. That guy was in the hostel when Pete and Ray stayed here. Are you sure? I heard that voice a thousand times, and the editor never forgets. All right, everyone, settle down. Many of you know me as Rex Remington, ace reporter. Look, everyone, a new shouter! No, no, I just need to have a few words with Mr. Shoe Fetish here. I didn't come here to talk. I came here to fight! Well, fuck shoes, and that's it! I just need you to look at a picture on the young man's phone and tell me if you've seen the bum. I mean, homeless citizen in the picture. He goes by the name of Pete. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Yeah, I know where Pete is. Great. Just, just tell us and we'll be on our way. I ain't telling either of you shit. All right. How much? I don't want your bullshit fiat currency. Oh, so you want me to beat it out of you, huh? Not you, Rex. You lay one finger on me and my boys will tear you limb from limb. I want the boy! Me? Yeah, those are some nice shoes you got there. And I'd like to spend a little time with them. <laughs> what? You want my shoes? But they're brand new. My mom will kill me. No shoes, no deal. You can fight me for it. What about me? I'll fight you one-on-one -on -one right now. You and I both know I have no chance against you, but a supple young boy in his new shoes. Now that's interesting, right guys? Hey, I'm not supple. Screw this, Rex, let's get out of here. Wait a minute, I need to have a word with the boy. Fine, but hurry up. My lust for shoes is unquenchable. <laughs> Ian, have you ever been in a fight before? No. Well, this is your chance. Time for you to transform from a boy to a man. What, in a bum fight? What if he bleeds on me? I could get all kinds of STDs. Don't be ridiculous, Ian. You can't get AIDS from a shoe, and that's what he's into. Yeah, but I still don't know how to fight, nor do I want to. Just give him the shoes. I can't. My mom got them from an outlet store where she thinks she's getting a bargain. She'll kill me even if one speck of dirt gets on them. So what then? Should we just give up on finding Ray? This is our only chance. You've got the shit. Get off the pot. All right, Rex. I'm done waiting. I'll do it. I'll fight you. Bring it on, boy. On my signal. Come on, please. 
Hey, Rex, what are the rules? Just like life, there aren't. What? Fight. Fight. <laughs> well, that didn't take nothing. Just make it easy on yourself and give me the shoes now. Time out. Ian, buddy, are you okay? Can you hear me? Yes. Stop, stop yelling. Should I just throw him the shoes now before you get hurt anymore? Never. My mom is 10 times scarier than he is, and I have to live with her. Okay, let's assess the situation. He's bigger than you, he's meaner than you, he's been in more fights, but you've got something he doesn't. And that is? I don't know, I was hoping you could tell me. I'm in, let's do this. Round two, Fight. Wait a sec, I, I wasn't ready. This is gonna hurt. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> shoes are as good as mine. All right, break it up. Ian, kiddo, speak to me. Synthesizer. What? I'm better at the synthesizer in video games than he is. All right, <laughs> last round, punk. Now all you've got to do is find a way to use those things against him. Go get him, kid. Final round. My god, he's a goner. Just give me the shoes now so we don't need to call the EMTs. They won't show up here anyway. You want the shoes? You like rubbing your balls on shoes? What of it? How do you like this? Oh. 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 Ian, Whose keytar is that? It belongs to me. What of it? I need to borrow it. No time to explain. Like fun you will, we have another set. As member number 2634112 of the Synth Players Union, I hereby commandeer this keytar under section C of the Union Bylaws. Oh, 2634112, by the hand of Mark Mothersbog, he outranks me. Fine, go ahead, take it. There's one scratch, I'll... Thanks. I'll bring her back in one piece. yourself in fear. Instead, you're dicking around with little girls' pianos. Give me the shoes! Just give him the shoes. You can't have the shoes. But you can have this. That sound is the bee's knees. Nice work, Daddy O. Here's your guitar back. After that magnificent display, you can keep it. I am not worthy. You are a master, and I, I am nothing. Thanks. Hey. I've heard a lot of guitar solos, but that is the best damn one I ever heard. I think it fixed my brain. I don't want to fuck shoes anymore. Now I'm a glove man. That's the power of synth. Think you can tell us where Pete is? What? Oh, yeah. He's camped out in Burbank over by Central Casting. Why would he do that? Beats me. Hey, Ian, can I have your autograph? Sure. On my chest. I'll get a tattoo guy to fill it in later. Sure. Uh, can you stay away from other people's shoes? Yes, sir. Ian, it's time to gas up that Asian go-kart you call a car. We're going to Burbank. It's Ray Can't Sleep. Until next time, stay woke. If you or someone you know has any information about sleep disorders, or giant six foot tall lizard people, or you have any questions or comments about the show, please reach out to us by email or social media. Links in the show notes.